Is your three-phase motor overheating? If so, you might be just one step away from a costly failure. But don't worry, I'll show you exactly why it happens and how to fix it before it's too late. And stick around, because at the end, I'll share simple tips that can help you detect motor damage early. Why does a three-phase motor overheat? All right, let's break it down. A three-phase motor overheats due to three main categories of issues. Electrical problems, mechanical failures, and environmental conditions. Electrical issues. First, let's talk about electrical problems. These are the most common causes of overheating. Overloading. If the motor is working beyond its rated capacity, it draws excess current, generating heat. Voltage imbalance. If the three-phase voltages aren't equal, unbalanced currents flow, leading to overheating. Phase loss, single phasing. If one phase is lost, the motor struggles to run on two, creating excess heat. Low voltage, the motor slows down and compensates by drawing more current, which raises the temperature. High voltage, stresses insulation and increases iron losses, leading to excessive heat buildup. Frequent starts and stops. Every startup pulls a huge inrush current, generating extra heat. Supply wiring issues, thin or long cables create excessive voltage drop, making the motor work harder. In all these cases, the motor struggles to maintain torque, drawing more current, and eventually overheating. If you're finding this helpful so far, take a second to hit the like button. It helps more people see this information. Thanks for your support. Mechanical issues. Now let's talk about mechanical issues that can cause overheating. Blocked ventilation, dust, dirt, or debris can clog cooling fans, preventing proper heat dissipation. Bearing problems, worn out or poorly lubricated bearings create friction, which leads to overheating. Misalignment or unbalance. If the shaft isn't aligned properly or the rotor is unbalanced, the motor vibrates excessively, generating heat. Even a small mechanical issue can force the motor to work harder, increasing heat and reducing efficiency. Environmental issues. Finally, let's talk about external factors that can cause overheating. High ambient temperature. If the surrounding temperature is too high, the motor can't cool effectively. Poor ventilation. If the motor is in a cramped space, heat gets trapped and builds up. Humidity and contaminants, moisture and dust degrade insulation, increasing losses and making the motor overheat faster. If the environment isn't ideal, even a perfectly working motor can overheat over time. Now, before your motor burns out completely, here are a few quick checks you can do. Check the supply voltage under load. If it's too low, your motor is working harder than it should. Measure motor current. It should not exceed the nameplate rating under full load. Inspect the bearings. The shaft should turn smoothly and quietly. Check ventilation. Make sure cooling fans and pathways are clear of dust and debris. Measure unloaded current. If it's above 10% of full load current, your windings could be damaged. And if you suspect the motor is already damaged, use a multimeter to check for unbalanced coil resistances. If one is lower than the others, you might have a shorted winding. Closing, prevent motor overheating. So to keep your motor running smoothly, remember, match the motor size to the load. Maintain a steady voltage supply. Ensure proper ventilation and clean cooling paths. Regularly inspect bearings and alignment. Monitor current draw to catch issues early. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more electrical tips. Is your three-phase motor